Stephen, welcome, welcome back to Celtic Park. How does it feel to be to be back here? You've got the gear on again. You're, yeah. you're part of the coaching staff. Yeah, it's been it's, it's been great. You know, it was it had a, it was a good opportunity that get put towards me. So um, it was one I had a lot of a time to think about over the Christmas break. So um, I, I was glad to get started, and, and I'm looking forward to, to give something back to the, the club that's gave me so much in my in my career. Yeah, we're sitting here in the in the home dugout. You look out at the empty stadium. When when you come out here and you see it empty, does it does it take your mind back to some of those massive games you played in? Yeah, listen, not just the, the stadium. You know, coming back to to Barrowfield for the first time the, the, this morning was great. You know, I've got so many happy memories from being here. Listen, you you've grew up supporting the club from a small age, so to get the opportunity to come back in a in a in a coaching capacity, um, it was it was always going to be the the, the way for me. So um, really happy to get it over the line and, and thankful to everybody at the club. Obviously, Brendan played a, a big part in it along with Chris McCart. So um, delighted to be to be back. D- despite your own, as I said, despite as well as your own coaching abilities, yeah. I suppose the fact that you've kind of been here, done it, got the yeah. t-shirt, got the armband. You can be there and act as an inspiration to these boys who are at a, a, a very kind of a crossroads in their career at that age, at 18. It's, it's, it's difficult for any young players trying to make a, a, a very good living in the game in football. Um, but listen, the grounding that I had was was the reason I had a, a, a successful football and playing career. So I'm thankful for everybody that 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 was part of that that journey. Um, and I'm trying to give that back to young players today, and like I say, they can relate to you because you're you're not long finished playing, but also they can they can see what you've achieved, and and with the guys that are already here, you know, it's if guys like us could do it, then there's no reason why there's some of the young talented individuals that we've got at the club so just now, they'll be the same. That they just need to look to the the first team players just now, Cal McGregor, Kieran Tierney, James Forrest, to name a few. That they're now not just very good players, they're top 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 players that that could grace any football pitch in Europe. Is, is coaching nowadays, especially at the kind of under 18 age group, the 18s that, that you're involved with here, is it is it a lot about off the field, you know, dealing with with them, answering their questions, being there for them, advising them, using the benefit of your own experience as, as much as it is the, the technical stuff on the pitch? I think so, you know, we were, the habits that you get into at 16, 17 and 18 will stand you in, in, in good stead throughout your career, so I'll be trying to implement the, the habits that, that, that I had as a young player um, because that was what was ingrained to me at such a young age here, working with good people. You know, listen, I've been influenced massively by guys like Tommy Burns, Wally McStay, Kenny McDowell when he was here as well, Tam O'Neill, Chris McCart. So these are the guys that I was brought up the Celtic way as such and, and, and I'll, be, I'll be trying to uh, give the same message to the players from just now. But I think young players need to, there's, there's still a work ethic, it's still dedication, sacrifices that they need to make. Young players need to take ownership of their career. I think nowadays so many young players can't wait to tell everybody how much they want to be a footballer. But the only way you can do that is how you lead your life, not just at the football club, but more importantly, the decisions and the choices that you make away from the football club. Um, and these are the things that, that, that is a must if you want to be a, a professional footballer. And these are the, the kind of morals that, that and the, the aspects of life, basically, that I'll be trying to help to, to guide them on their, that journey. Yeah, because young people, they always get a bad press. It doesn't matter what yeah. generation you're in. Young yeah. people are always, you yeah. know, are the young people of today. But, but you know, teenagers nowadays, you know, can sometimes perhaps, f- you know, feel as if they, they, they expect a lot. Yeah. They expect to get a lot. Is it, you know, you talk about the sacrifices and, and the things that you have to learn, the sacrifices you have to make is... is Especially at the kind of eighteen year old, is that a big part of it? It is, you know. But like I say, there's there's been some really really top top coaches, and and there still is that are working within the academy at Celtic. Um, Chris obviously is is a big big say in it, but it filters all the way down. It's 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 you look to the men at the top, and and and, and Peter and Dermot, and obviously and Brendan and Brendan's staff as well. It's fantastic people that are driving this club to the very top. And these are the guys that you look to for inspiration. Likewise, the young players will look to, to for the coaches to try and inspire them. And, and like I said, we, all we'll tr- all certainly be trying to do is pass on the experiences that I've gained to hopefully that these these young players can go and have a, a much better career than what I did. And if they can do that, then then terrific. And if I can help them along the way, then that's what m- my job is. My job is to try and get as many players into this first team as I possibly can. Not just in, with the staff that, that I'll, I'll have working with me. They're terrific. I've known them a long time. Um, and we'll certainly be pushing to get the, the, the best rewards we can. 
most people, when they look back in their school days, they always remember one or two subjects, and it tends to be because of the teacher. They had someone that inspired them at that age. When you look back to the time when you were a young footballer, it's like 17, 18, were there people, you've, I think you've maybe mentioned a few of them, who were the ones that really inspired you then? Listen, Paul McStay was my hero growing up, so, so straight away it was, Paul McStay was the one person I wanted to, to, to try and emulate as such. He went to the same school as me. Um, he was my hero growing up. Obviously, coming to the football club, you knew there's, there's pictures everywhere of uh, uh, Paul. So he was my hero coming in, and then luckily enough, I was lucky to work with some really, really good people. Um, and like I said, when you're a young player, you don't realise how quickly your career goes. I remember Tam Burns saying to me, many moons ago he says Mick, your career will, will go by in a flash and at the time I'd never played in the first team at the time but it's something that's always stuck with me and again Tam had a massive influence on on so many of our, our careers especially when he, when he was involved with the first team so listen I'm, I'm not going to try and reinvent the wheel like I say I've got the staff here have been terrific with me the, st the coaches in the academy are top top coaches so I'll be, I'll be trying to uh, uh, help them to make the players as good as they possibly can be. Yeah, it's very much, it's a well-oiled machine, yep. the academy at the moment, yep. and, a, and it's very successful in terms of the number of players that go on to have a career yep. in, in the game. You've just had your first training session, how did it go? Yeah, listen, I'm, like I said, uh, uh, Chris wanted me to kind of uh, to shadow the coaches that are there just now before uh, taking charge, but it's, it's important that I get to know the young players, but more importantly, I think it's, it's I wanted the coaches to get to a feel for me as a person because I think that's important. Because listen, you're only as good as a player, you're only as good as the players around about you as a coach, you're only as good as the staff that you've got with you. So it's important that they that they, they know what I'm all about. And, and like I say, I, I always said back at the start that I would, my coaching career would I would take the same path as my playing career, which would be the commitment levels would be absolutely everything. I would give it 100, percent and that's what I, I aim to do. You know, you played at the very highest level, you know, playing, let's say, for instance, here, Champions League yeah. and the famous victory against AC Milan that you yeah. scored then. You know, to where you are now, does it fill you with as much passion in the position you are now? It does, you know, listen, uh, like I said, my, my remit will be to try and help the club generate as many top, top young players as we possibly can. Um, and like I said, there's no a better feeling than I'm, I'm one of the lucky ones that, that's been associated with the club that I've grew up supporting. I was lucky to play here for a minute, never mind over 200 games. I was lucky enough to captain the club. I was lucky enough to work with some really, really proper people. Um, I was brought up with that mentality and that's the reason that I had the career that I had. And, and like I said, I'm just looking to, to give something back. Listen, it's great to have you on board. I'm sure the young boys will, will benefit greatly from your, from your experience, Dave. Perfect, thank you.